Okay, this is just a quick um, tutorial I'm just doing in relation to Filmic Blender, which is a script that, um, or sorry, there's a system that's come out some months ago for Blender whereby you can actually have a higher dynamic range in your um, in your renders. So this is just something I'm doing. I'm just trying to finish off my business card, but I realized that it would actually come in handy for doing renders like this where you want it to look a bit photorealistic. So at the moment it looks a bit dull and I've got the the sun actually at a strength of 10. So now if I so now when you look at the this scene if you tried to print this it would come out very dark if you send it to a printer. So the way around that what you normally do is you'd increase the brightness to try and sort of get a bit more light in the scene but then as soon as you do that what you'll find uh, is that your scene will start to burn out and as you can see there are a lot of well already the top of the UFO is completely burned and all the detail is gone so one thing I did in the past was actually to export it as a 32-bit TIFF and then do a um, uh, what is it? Um, tone mapping on it, but then that's extra work. So it's a good thing they've come out with this. So now, because of this um, feature that they have in Blender, uh, it's it's been out a little while, but I haven't seen too many videos on it. So I thought I might as well show how it can come in handy for if you just want something that you want to print, not not just. So this isn't for reasons of art, whereby you just want to show off how good you are at doing, you know, drawing this, that, or the other, or modeling this, that, or the other. This is for some, practically, where you want to have a decent image on your business card. So, basically, when you go into the uh, scene properties, uh, if you go down to where it has color management, and you open that up, and you notice that the display is sRGB, which is correct, and the render at the moment is a uh, default um, and the options you have there are basically just the usual RIT film raw and log and so some of those values could probably you could probably use them to change uh, the, the way the output looks then you've got the other option which is the look and that apparently these are some old for some cameras um, and I've seen in some other videos where they've said that those values aren't s sort of really that good for um, the renders that Blender actually produces. So basically, what the easiest way to add that kind of functionality into your, um, you know, into Blender basically is if you uh, there's an add-on, and I'll put the link to where you can get it from. Um, to where you can get it from in the description and uh, so once you've got it downloaded somewhere if you then go to file and then user preferences and then you basically have to install from file and the file that you have downloaded will be called uh, filmic blender yeah, it says filmic blender and so then you just install from file and then if you just click on the box and that's it, it should be loaded now. And what it does, it's just an add-on which allows you to install it. So as you can see, inside the color management, and now I have this little button that's popped up. And then you just have to click on Get Filmic Blender. Okay, well, it turned out in the end that I seem to have something with my Python. I'm sure if, if you're on Windows it'll, or Mac, it'll work properly, but it seems that um, my Python can't download the the file from GitHub, so I'm just going to have to show you how to, you can do it manually as well. So basically, you go to wherever 
you you have your blender installed and because basically the blender is um it'll be usually in a portable format where all the files are together in one directory so if you go into that directory where it is and you see the blender executable so then you go into the where the version number is and then um actually i just realized i might as well well for me anyway i have to disable disable the filmic blender because there's, there's no point yes and okay I'm just going to save that. This file takes a while to save, so I'm going to do that in the background. So if I go to the 2.78, and in there you see data files. And basically in there you have the color management. And so what you do is you have to get hold of um, the actual file from from github and so you download it and then what you do is if you um, you just uncompress it and basically those files they go uh, I into the color management so if you look in what's in color management at the moment you'll see that it just has the config and a LUTs directory so w essentially the easiest way around it is just if we just rename color management um, so And then just rename the Filmic Blender into Color Management. And so now, when you go into old, you see it's got LUTs and config. And then when you go into the new one that it's replaced it with, it has a few more things in there. Okay, so, so that's that. So what we have to do now is just restart Blender. Hmm. Yes, yeah, it's a bit slow because this file is a bit huge. tell the number of verts it's a bit okay. so just patiently wait while this file loads up Okay, so we're back now. And so now if we go in into college management, now things look a bit different. So now display device is still the same, but it's a different name. And then in render, we've got the sRGB still there, but if we go into there, we can have, we have an option, which is a filmix log encoding base. So now, if we if 
we do a change the view to how it was before and so now if we put the sun up to a hundred So when we look at the scenes, it's still a bit burned out. And then, so what we can do is if we change the render view, so now the filmic, now you'll see that the, it's actually a bit washed out. But what you can do in order to compensate for that washed out look, you then change the look of it and the standard one is, is basically base contrast and there you can see that so it's still quite um, quite bright and what and what you can actually do is to see if any of your scene is actually burned out from the brightness level you can go to a false color and basically any part of the image that is red it means it's overexposed so it looks like at the moment we can actually crank this up a little bit more so if we try 500 hmm, still yep still still says that it's um quite a bright scene but there's nothing red so as far as it's concerned this scene there isn't anything overexposed on it so essentially when you've got the sun this bright this is actually how it should look in real life with everything really bright and the colors washed out but this scene isn't actually overexposed so what i just need to do is just adjust it down a bit to see if i can get it to a level where the colors don't wash And yeah, that's see that's quite bright. And the the only important thing is that even though the scene looks very bright, it isn't actually overexposed. So so if you did actually reduce the you, you render this image and reduce the brightness, you would still actually get your detail back. But essentially, this is it's just this is only really a quick test. I'm not going to go too in depth into it because you could be here forever trying to get different um, renders to look good. But essentially, that is how if you want to actually um, have an image that you don't have to bother to tone map afterwards, and you can do all of these you know setup to make the image really bright in Blender. Then, if you use the uh, this filmic Blender. Um, addition into uh, Blender, then it can allow you to actually um, do all the steps necessary to get the brightness right within Blender without having to actually go out to another um, package. And also, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it is. There's something else I was going to say, but, but anyway, so that's the, uh, end of that. Oh, that's right. And in Blender 2.79, it's actually been integrated. So once that's out, you won't have to go through this step to actually get these extra, um, values in, sorry, extra settings into a Blender. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Okay. Bye.